Oh, hello Inigos and the Frenchies. It's the all. Welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed your three day 4th of July weekend if you're in the US. But on today's menu, I'll be serving you a red hot fiery spicy ente pyrotic, which is quite a powerful combination. It is budget easy to make. None of these cards are worth more than a pack. Most of them are worth one pack for a set and all of them can instantly charge up in one single turn. Okay, here you got Blacksmith and DCE, but I'm gonna elaborate more on that. Of course, I gotta explain to you how this deck setup works and you're gonna see it in four awesome matches. For you, that is. We'll start off with the warm-up Mega Gardevoir match and a tournament series. So, let's get started. Now, I'm playing that same song for a month. Let's go to a uh, change from Yubikiri to Before My Body Is Dry. Okay, so, Entei. If I had to make an analogy, you'd be a motorcycle. Because we can kick you out in items. So, uh, you know, there are parts that you can upgrade and say with because he has the double trait. You can have two poker tools on this guy and it will make a big difference. Let's take a look. So if you buy the Fighting Fury Belt Kit and you upgrade your motorcycle with this, you're going to have a very comfortable leather seats, which is definitely what it's made of, and that you get 40 hit points and 10 damage each one you stack. So if you do happen to get two of these on them, he's gonna have 210 hit points. Imagine that, going from 130 to 210. Oh man, and his damage, 50, 150. That's one really good motorcycle for not even an EX car. But how about muscle band, okay? Well, you're going to be driving at very dangerous speeds. You're not going to be have that comfortable H point boost, but the damage will go up to 70 and 170. And 170 is enough to knock out many EX Pokemon out there. Woo! So, you're one awesome motorcycle, Entei. And take a look at your attacks. Compared to EX Pokemon, this is equivalent. Even very good. So, 30 damage, and it shields himself for 30 damage, and this is comparable to most EX Pokemon's first attack. Just there to buy time, and Heat Tackle. Basically, you're gonna drive your motorcycle and just hit the guy whoever's running in front of you, because half the chance, it does break apart a little bit. Just half the time, because I think it's quite a good motorcycle, good brand. So, 30 damage, it may or may not even happen at all. We may have go through a turn, couple turns, no damage. But if the damage accumulates, we just got to take it to the repair shop. She's also a really good mechanic, in, as well as being a very good nurse. So just go ahead, fix him up, and you're good to go. So 130, uh, yeah, two shots deletes anything. I uh, can't even one shot itself. So, and Tate is a powerful card. And quite cheap too. So... I mean, you can't rely on all Entei's alone. And we do have another model of this motorcycle. Ooh, okay. So, I'm never going to use Burning Roar. There's not enough fire energies, and this would probably just destroy my tech and just, like, battle compress random stuff. So, Combat Blaze, two fire energies, and this thing is kind of like a James Bond movie, where if he's attacked and surrounded by all sides, your opponent's bench five Pokemons, it does 120 damage. So for every bench Pokemon that have less, it does 20 less damage. But hey, you know, Shaman Engines are quite relatively common, right? And so your opponent may you know, be thinking about this. Like, oh, maybe I shouldn't toss down all my cards and hold back just because how efficient and dangerous this card is. Two energies. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just a much cheaper, but potentially more uh, pay high payoff than this card. Oh, right. But we have one more final line. This here is Lysander. No, no, you're not even trying, right? But yeah, take a look. This is this is hairdo right here. He's just dyed in yellow, and he's wearing his Halloween suit and crawling in all fours. It's definitely Lysander. And it's like, yep, that's me. Uh, how'd you find out? How'd you... Let's move on, okay? 110. Mm. 
Okay, that kind of sucks, but intimidating may prevent all damage from your opponent's basic Pokemons, including EX basic Pokemons. This is basically like, like a really cheap Jolteon. Jolteon's like 20, 30 packs. This thing is just one. Actually, I think you could get it for free. For the It was from last, uh, last rotation. Anyways, this effect Everybody is a fan of Jolteon and highly valued for this. But it is an ability, it is weak to Hex Maniac. But hey, how easy it is to get this card and how dangerous it is, it's gonna threaten lots of decks out there. And Scorching Fang. Okay, 60 or 90 damage, but you have this card, an energy card, every time you attack, which is no problem at all. Did I say at the start you can charge up any Pokemon in a single turn? I mean, we have DCEs, we have Burning Energy, which negates the cost. You discard this energy, it comes right back onto your Pyroar. Or you can you can attach three energies up a turn. The one that you get normally, and two of them from your discard pile onto anybody you like. And they, all these cards would love the Blacksmith effects. So very easy to keep this deck going and your Pokemon pumped up with energies all ready to go so yeah this card one single energy no problem it'll just even combo with blacksmith because hey that's where the fire energies are going anyways okay so what else I need to keep momentum I need to keep good card flow going and artillery is he fits the bill very easy to get and you always gonna have some cards but he works very well with items because hey when plenty of items you can just dump them all shrink your hand to a few cards and just instantly get it refilled great sushi master so we're gonna have lots of items we have town map see my prize cards knock something out get something i want we have switches and escape bro why not float stone because they will be holding items and so I, I'd rather have the opportunity to switch them out. So that's just why there it is. Instead of just giving this guy a single float stone. And we have level balls, evo sodas. It works mostly for artillery, but it does help out Lit Leo and get them evolved with evo soda as well. So, all right, I have super rot in case I accidentally discard too many like a pyroar lines, all of them entes. You know, just one, just in case some some a really bad sycamore happens. And we have Ultra Balls. Yeah, get out any Pokemon, shrinks my hand, combos with Octillery. And this is how the deck engine you see down there works. For We're going to use it again in a bit. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Moving on, back on track. I need plenty of supporters, draw powers other than Sushi Master. We have N. We have Sycamore. We have plenty of Verse Seekers. Because I am going to be battle compressing, discarding energies for my Blacksmith. As well as Trainers so I can reuse them. In case there's some annoying ability, I have the Hex Maniac. And let's see, I think that covers most of them. Oh, Lysander. Of course, I'm a, well, his, when he's not in his Halloween costume. Drag out Pokemon, delete it. Drag out the most vulnerable Pokemon, delete it. All right, so I've talked about everything. So, okay. I like to do one four minute warm up match. It's only four minutes. And we're going to join a tournament and see how it goes. So standard 89 tokens filling up. Yeah, I'll just hop in afterwards. Here we go. You know, my favorite promo card that I got from the movies all time is Entei, of course. It's a bit of an older card, but it was reverse holographic. Probably the first one of its kind back then. And it was awesome looking. So... Anyways, welcome to another Entei match and Pyroar. So, I'm gonna play Before My Body Is Dry from Kill a Kill. And this game already was a little bit underway, not too far. So, it looks like Mega Gardevoir, which easily will get through Pyroar. But, two double colors energy. I want a Pyroar and a regular energy. Can we pull that off? We still might. I have to lose this double colors energy too. And so let me go ahead and use what's what I should, uh, Battle Compressor. Let's go ahead and put Pokemon Center Lady down. I'll throw one more energy and Lysander. I think that's good. And all these will have to be eaten up 
which sucks, but I have to. So, okay, there's an energy, there's muscle band, and I can afford to lose one Entei, the energies, they'll come back. So we'll toss this one out, and we'll grab out Pyroar. So now, until he gets Mega Gardevoir up, he can't hurt me. Let's go ahead and put the Entei down, and Scorching Fang. I don't need to discard any energies, either way it's a two shot on a Xerneas. On the EX Pokemon, it'd be a little different, but for now, it's okay. So, he's like, yep. Oh gosh, Mega Gardevoir is out. It needs four energies on that side of the field in order to do something, but he is stuck. So, there's four energies. So, he, he can, he does have the potential to one-shot me. Okay, so let's get something up before then. And it looks like, ah, and Pyroar isn't going to cheese it the way through. So, let's go ahead and put this down. Put this right here. I haven't played a supporter, so let me go ahead and just Blacksmith. I already discarded that through um, Blacksmith. Battle Compressor. So, let's make sure Entei is ready to go next turn. And I discard plenty of energy, so I'm good. Now, Scorching Fang. Nope. That's good. Nice, easy setup. I already have. I got Pyrora pretty easily. I had to discard a couple cards like DCE that I didn't want to. But Entei is here. 90. It lived. I don't know. Not much for much longer. So let me go ahead. I'll put this right here. A second Sushi Master. Awesome. So I'll go ahead, pull some more cards out. And. Hey, we got a Pyroar! Another one! And, would you look at that, double colorless energy, already good to go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, and we got a second Sushi Master. So, let's see uh, what he's pulled. 13 cards, 11 cards left in my deck. I do have the Super Rod, it's just not time to use it yet. Blacksmith is right here, everything is just going so smoothly. Now, because, I'm pretty sure this 20 hit point Pyroar isn't gonna make it, so... Let's see, 100 hit points left. If he does not have anything else, well, that has to be a Shaman. Okay, so Gardevoir, but his hand is dead. It's dead. And with this, Mega Gardevoir is go down, going down and... Ooh. Okay, so who's up next? Pyro. Oh, Pyro already has been out, so... Nah. Let's go ahead and send you up. And why not we get another Pokemon set up? And there's this another blacksmith. So I probably won't even need it. Oh, let's go ahead and just pull this out. Pull some more cards out, and I'm actually good. I have nine cards left. Let's go ahead and use Heat Tackle. Heads. Good. That means I don't take any damage, and I like the flow. The flow of that match was good. So unfortunately, he didn't have any shamans, or he didn't all his draw supporters so and for me otherwise Mega Gardevoir warp like zap 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 all oh, you gone so I think we should do some tournaments now you know I think Leo's the most punk cub out there I mean, take a look all these lit Leos they're going for the mohawk look at that stylish a little bit of Rudolph Christmassy uh, reindeer nose thing but Anyways, welcome to the first round of the tournament. I'm gonna play Hologram from Full Metal Alchemist. So, let me go ahead and set up a blacksmith by discarding these two energies. And we need our, wow, one Sushi Master. One of each of Sushi Master components are prized. Well, that sort of sucks. So, looking at this, if I'm seeing Ponyta Rapidash. That comes from a theme set. But this is the first round of the tournament. So, we'll see. There's a blacksmith. And there's another N. <sighs> okay, so definitely gonna use Battle Compressor because there are things that should not draw, such as. Let's see, Blacksmith's already down there. Let's go ahead and do this. One Battle Compressor and one Lysander, and that should be good. Blacksmith's right here. And I think that's it. I'm gonna end my turn. So, Ponyta Rapidash. I know this card. It does not enough damage to even take out a Lit Leo. I think. I think. So, Great Ball. We don't usually see that. And Great Ball, what do we pull out? 
I mean, next seven cards. It's kind of like uh, the trainer mails for Pokemon. Except you gotta need a little bit more accuracy, don't you? Yeah, yeah. But. Oh. Well. There's the real deal, guys. Rayquaza's first attack isn't gonna do anything. Second attack, yeah. One more turn, we're screwed. Uh oh. Acrobite. Charizard. Ooh. One. Oh, this, this, is, this is okay. So, what is. What is. Okay, it's a fire with Rayquaza. And a lot of annoying things. Where's the grass? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay. So, Ponyta with a muscle band will still hurt. It can two shot me. So I need to evolve immediately. We're gonna have to go for an end, guys, because this here is not so good. So, end. Six more cards. You'll give me some Pokeballs or Evolution. That's good enough. And Sushi Master is right here. Okay, so what am I gonna pay the price with? I wanna guarantee that my Pyroar can attack, so I will save this energy. And then, oh, well, it's a guarantee. Oh, Pyroar. I know, I can save the other card for Sushi Master. Okay, so things setting up well, well. That's a one shot. It's only 60 hit points, and I'm immune to that Rayquaza unless he does have a Mega Rayquaza and a Spirit Link. I'm guessing no. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab Sushi Master up. Pyroar is the first of many. We need other, uh, other of our fire Pokemons to get out. So now I get to see what I get want. For my prize cards. Let's go to do Scorching Earth. No, I can already KO it. There's no reason for it to be to do the extra damage. And I guess I can set up another Pyroar line. Sushi Master's line is right there. So that's gonna be the next card. So we're gonna pull this out. Another Pyroar. And we're good. Although I would love an Entei at the best point. Well, here's one Entei. We can already blacksmith. We have momentum, is what I'm trying to say. So now, none of his basic Pokemons will be able to get through this unless he's got a Hex Maniac, something like that. Your basic, can you actually Mega Evolve? If you can, that'd be amazing. So, Fire Energy goes on. I'm gonna take no damage, but if he use, does try to do Dragon Pulse, it will. I think he may lose three cards. Intensifying Burn? Psh, nothing, only 40 damage. So. He needs to set up another evolved Pokemon. And I see, I think I saw his own Entei. An Entei of his own, what I'm saying. All basic Pokemons. So he can't get through this, but he does have a muscle band, no spirit link, and if it, uh, suddenly Mega Rayquaza shows up. Ugh. So Misty's determination. Okay, that, that could be a Skyla substitute. So he has to lose one card, but he gets. It's got like a whole great ball thing. I think there's like a little seven cards. Look at the next seven cards. Look at the next eight cards. Choose something you find there. So a little theme. All right. Now. I'm in cruise mode. I'm in cruise mode. Dragon Pulse. You're going to lose three cards. And I take zero damage. Of course. Of course. So uh, let me help you out. Let me throw it down in the stadium. Do I need many more cards in this card? Not really. Well, I do want to make sure that I have another Pokemon ready. So, I am going to Blacksmith. Great job. It wasn't even there. I'll just take in. I'll just take in. My bad, guys. So, I thought I used the Blacksmith. That must have been another game. So, we're going to grab out Litleo. And the energy is just going to go for Entei. Taking a look. Oh, Blacksmith isn't there. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards out. Two is good. Maybe you pull something nice up. We're just going to aim this card at Litleo. There we go. So, Pyroar definitely is in my deck somewhere out there. And this is going to be a dud because I know Rimmerade's in here, so it's not going to work. And I'm not going to discard the energy just yet. Take 80 damage. And that's going to be that. So. He doesn't have strong evolved Pokemon in this deck. It's yeah, it's just it's not quite the moment, but the best thing out there. So if if I didn't have Pyro, it maybe would have been a threat. Hundred damage, of course, would two shot my Entei. So this is okay. And 
Charging up Chespin. Yep, that Pokemon can evolve. All right, so P. Ed and Pyroar just came here. It's like, I'm ready to go, guys. I can get either Pokemon just to show you. Momentum's coming on. So, Quillanen needs a lot of grass energies to actually attack. And I'm only, I only see fire. And you have to pull out two grass energies in order to make this work. So, if he does attack again and use Dragon Pulse, he's going to lose three cards. So he should... Oh. It's Pyroar now. You can't, you can't hurt it. Only this thing can. And it does have one grass energy, so he does have some grass energies. Just use fire energy to do wood hammer and... I think... I don't know. I think this is it. Well, not, not, not real. We just have to go through and plow through. So... He is going to retreat. Send out Quilladin, which will get one shot at if this scrunch fails. Flip a coin. If heads, I can't hurt it. Okay, if tails, you just lost your, your, well, Quilladin. So, scrunch. Heads. Works. Okay, there's Lysander down here. I'm not gonna let my prey get away. So, we don't have a burning energy. Let me go ahead and use Verse Seeker for Lysander. And I will go ahead and evolve Pyroar. We're gonna go ahead, Lysander, that dragon. And just so I can keep momentum going, let's... Should I discard some more cards? Oh yeah, I don't have enough to even blacksmith. So, we have to go ahead and do this. Level ball, that's a dud. And Scorching Fang, we will use the bonus version because that's what it needs to get out of Rayquaza. So Rayquaza's gone. I guess this is a soft Lysander. And this... Energies, grit. I would love to set up another uh, Entei. It's just they're hiding somewhere. So Quillan's gonna come back. I was like, uh oh. Well, okay, so be it. This Entei isn't gonna be so strong because there's just no bench Pokemon whatsoever back there. And, uh, you know, Targwis will be nice right here. So, one armor energy, and you could use a Wood Hammer that would barely uh, get through me. And I would probably just Pokemon Center Lady and after that get the full amount instead of just doing it right now. So. Okay. I s simply fast forwarded because I'm pretty, pretty sure at that point that was game. So, taking a look. Yep, first round of tournament done. So, we'll, we'll be moving on and see uh, who's coming for us next. So. I'll see you in a bit. Come to think of it, I only seen the male Pyroar in the card game. And you know there is a female Pyroar which looks like a Linus because Pyroar is a lion Pokemon. So, yeah. Where, where, where's the other one? Oh shoot, not this card. Not this card. Oh. It's so okay, so welcome to another one of the match, this is Pyroar, and I'm gonna play Date Start from Undertale. And oh, pushing all these cards back, that's not good. Let me go ahead and discard this. I would have finished the game with a. Looks like I'm gonna win the game uh, right now, so let's just go ahead and just use Heat Tackle, 130 damage, heads. I don't take any damage. And what kind of tournament is this? Last round, guys! Yeah! Apparently, Pyroar is fire and normal, which doesn't sound that interesting, right? Yeah. But it's the only Pokemon that is actually fire and normal in the game, so. That's mundane and unique at the same time. So, you're special. Okay, so, welcome to the final round of the tournament. It is a fellow fire... I think it's a fire deck. I'm gonna play My Beats Your Soul from Angel Beats. And, what in the world? Mew, Grass, and Fire Energy? How does this work? But Mew is getting energy. I mean, yeah, this Fennekin probably going down, right? So, let's go ahead and play this down. 
And this this is probably gonna go for Sushi Master. Nope. This is gonna go for Octillery. It seems Pyroar is my Pokemon. And Mew can't hurt Pyroar. Naturally, that is. It's gonna need some help. So, Litleo, let's go ahead and put you down. And... I don't know if I should use this as card draw. You know, I already have an, the energy card I need. This works for a blacksmith. Speaking of which, it's right there. And... Should I blacksmith this turn? You know, that allows me to use another supporter next turn because I don't have any supporters this turn. So, it is inefficient. I only get one, but Pyroar is good to go. And if I want to, I can just pull the energy and let Rim Raid retreat. Or so I hope. I do have switches. I do have an escape rope that's somewhere here. And hopefully not here. And Brazen is going to evolve. I was like, oh, Fennekin made it. And Clairvoyant Eye, look at the next three cards. This is kind of like time puzzle ish. Yeah, time puzzle. So, Muse charged up. There are no basic Pokemons in which you can copy. You can only copy basic Pokemon on his side of the field. Your basic Pokemon. So, we do have Entei. We have Pyroar. And I think this is the cheapest way to get my uh, Sushi Master out. So, Sushi Master, you're up. It's like, oh, hey, this is dangerous. I, the kitchen's back in here, but uh, I'll make do. I'll make a campfire or something. That's exactly how it goes down, guys. So, I, I haven't played the supporter yet. Oh, Escape Rope. Perfect. Escape Rope. Hello, Mew. Why don't you come out here? You seem like a threat. Ish. I'm not even going to use a fire energy to attack you, so... You know, why not we just use the... Shoot. It's just inefficient to do it like that. So, instead of... I should have burnt an energy, well... Well, this... Yeah, it is inefficient. But, whatever. Let me go ahead and... Attack. And... There goes Mew. There goes the biggest threat. I have Ultra Balls. I probably will just get in the Rim Raid. So, Brazen's up. It can evolve into Del Fox, but he probably doesn't have a Sycamore. So, what do you have? Pokemon Center Lady. Okay, nothing too big, I see. Lugia! Oh, you're a basic Pokemon! Easy! Easy. So, it's gonna switch out. And I guess that. Oh, Del Fox. Which one is it? It is the Mystic Fire one. Grand Sushi Master itself. He's like, hello, Master. It looks like we're on for a cook-off. Okay, so you got game. This is the danger. And it's going to get a Grass Energy, which is not going to help its Blaze Ball attack. Only once Fire Energy. So, once I can get more things set up, your bench is filling up very nicely. Okay. I'm I'm saying that kind of like a like a you know the evil witch from some certain horror movie is like oh you're getting fat yeah okay let's let's not be creepy Donald I'm gonna go ahead and make sure Lysander and some certain supporters are available for reverse seeking yeah that's a thing now hex maniac that looks like Lysander's prized up guys so I'm just gonna go ahead get him energy I do want to get rid of the battle compressors so. I think I'm good. I'm gonna use Scorching Fang. I'm not gonna discard anything with the Muscle Band. I can two shot it anyway. So Lugia, I want you. And it's like, whoa there, Donald. What are you saying? And it's like, oh, I don't mean anything. So double colors energy, maybe for retreat, because it's gonna get KO'd. Maybe. Why would you want to save this? I don't know. So Verse Seeker. Oh, gonna heal it up. Oh, maybe there is a Lugia break. That would be a sudden death. Uh-oh, double colored synergy, Lugia break, boom. And then I still have another Pokemon ready to go. So only one card, card pull. You know, I bet two chefs can cook better than the one. Let's go ahead and do that. Hang on, let's see what this gets. All the Ultra Balls up here. Okay. So with this, I am not going to have any more Ultra Balls, pretty much. Bad RNG, but let's get up something more powerful. How about an Entei? All right, Entei, you pull this here, and we still have both our Sushi Masters ready to cook, so our first cook is gonna bring us four cards. What's it gonna be? Entei can have the spot. It can have the energy, and by this time, I've probably discarded enough energies to do something. I just need Blacksmith, so second cook. 
should have just thrown this card away. Be a really strong card. Let's just... I'm gonna go toss them out my deck. I still have plenty of cards left. I know that's not gonna get me anything. That's okay. Done. And five cards. Let's just go ahead and shuffle. Get me more cards. Get me going. Looking in there. Yep. Ready for Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Awesome. An Entei is ready to go. So I'm gonna go Scorched. There's no reason for me to discard his energy. Done. Three Pokemon ready to go, guys. Three of them. So. Two Sushi Master, two Cooks. That's better than Del Fox, right? I mean, I can get it potentially, although not likely, 10 cards. Let's get six. Okay. And we see a squad of C Dots who are all weak to fire. And he's charged up. I guess he does not know about the effect. Well, that sucks for him. Okay, so let's go ahead and charge another Pokemon up. I know I have a Blacksmith ready. So let's go ahead and use Blacksmith to charge you up. And yeah, go go ahead. Go go ahead and pull one more card out. I kinda want some healing. Oh hey! Definitely wanna see what I what I want uh, from here, so Ah, there's no reason to discard. I'm good. Let's have Lysander. Let's have access to Lysander and taking a look at my Verse Seekers. There's just only one plate? Okay, the rest are in my deck. Which is, yeah, pretty good. So, he charged the 50, 90. Ooh, 110 damage. Oh, this is gonna one shot me. I got you ready to go. And I charged up the Entei that does not have any items. Okay, I don't know about that. And if. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I need at least any other item to not get the KO, but I believe I've used up most of them. And... You know what? Let's go for it. Let's, this is efficient. Let's go ahead and send you out. All right, now. Now since you're at the threat, five cards. I'm going to hold for now. There's nothing I sh really, really should do. Let's shuffle. I really want those Verse Seekers. Yeah, four cards. Verse Seeker, Lysander, good. And we got DCE for Entei, so the true Entei is going to be out pretty soon. All right, let's go ahead and pull a card out. And we're going to use Combat Blaze. You have nearly a full bench. Easy 110 damage. 160 hit points. I'm going to survive. It's not as efficient as this Entei, but that's okay. And he's gonna put another energy on. You know that's gonna get KO'd, right? And and away. And all you like. With Sushi Master and is nothing. But I did lose my Lysander and Verse Seeker. I have plenty of cards left. I'm good. And he does not have another Pokemon to fight with afterwards. And oh, all the Pyroars are gone. The Litleo's right there, okay. Maybe I'll just get another one for fun. It's I, I'm gonna feel very safe once this Delphox goes down. Grand Sushi Master, you go down. It's like, ah, well, I, you're the best, Master. I'm still rooting for you. And, ooh, wow, we're equal deck to deck in cards. And nobody has pulled down the EX Pokemon yet. So, Blaze Ball, 130. Oh, thank you, item. Let's go ahead and put this down. Hey, you can go ahead and fight next. Abyssal Hand. I'm safe. I can still draw more cards. But he's like, Psh. once you lose that Delphox, there's not another Pokemon that can fight. Look at that on my bench. I have Entei. I could easily charge up another Pyroar. I have two Entei's so actually ready to go up. A Blacksmith gets the third Entei up. Momentum. You're going to have to go through all my Pokemon, and that is the strength of this deck. So, taking a look, I did make it to the final round. First round was cake. Second round was a little so a bit long. And the last one was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So there were, weren't really any meta decks. This is 4th of July weekend, and I guess everybody's partying and have a good time while Donald's here playing Pokemon. What are you doing, Donald? So, anyways. I'll just have to get... Well, I think that's it. So, let's go to the rating. Oh. You made it. To the very end of the video. In that case, congratulations and thank you.
Man, it is time we rate this deck. And I'm going to give it a B minus. Why? Well, first of all, I feel like it does set up both Entei and Pyroar very well. And these cards, they're quite strong. They will take on your opponent's Pokemon. But it just, let's see. I, I'm missing that one-shot KO. And maybe I'm just too spoiled. But it also turns out that Pyroar's and Tim Dang main, maybe it's because just the matchups I got over the 4th of July weekend were just easy, but it it doesn't it didn't seem, quite seem as effective as Jolteon's. Mainly because Jolteon has a lot more hit points and more stable, and it doesn't just get deleted if something allows it to bypass this. So, yeah, it's not quite that great of a substitute. Still pretty good, still pressure. And and say sometimes you do get stuck because you need that DCE. Otherwise, it's still quite hard to get this up even with Blacksmith. Still needs one or two turns, so there are these quirks here and there, but that's expected. That's normal. So, uh, to be honest, it could also go for a B too. All right, so I think overall this deck, being easy to make, quite strong. It's just that the deck tomorrow it's not going to stand a chance against that one. What could that be tomorrow? Typhlosion, it's time to go back and we retweet you just a little bit so you flow a little bit smoother. This video was my best deck video for quite a long time. And there were just very simple, easy ways to make this deck better with cheap cards. So I'm going to do it. That's tomorrow. And it's just going to flat out beat this deck. It's still cheap to make. And it's gonna destroy everything so that is what's coming out for tomorrow so please like subscribe and sh show support and it helps me just push me to make more videos just like this and there are more of those coming out um if you like any of the remixes you heard you can just listen to them right straight on the channel spotify itunes wherever you like and thank you very much integrals and the french I will see you tomorrow for Typhlosions. Unless you want to listen to me read the comments down for next section. Which, you know, you wrote me something. I made something back. Say something back. In that case, we'll move on to that. 137 comments. Thank you very much, guys. I absolutely appreciate it. I read all the comments. But to read all of them back at the end of each video probably isn't reasonable. So, there, I clicked the load more a bunch of times. I know there's still more because I read them all. But I'm going to answer them just to a certain point. Alright. So, thank you. And here we go. I'm going to... Okay. Let's put, cue the music. So, Roman Sadzu asked you this last time already, but can you make a Magnuson Raikou deck? I cannot make every deck that everyone asked me just because there's just too much. Just kind of like the comments. But this time around, Magnuson Raikou is a very good budget deck. And so it's going to happen I, sometime. And Sean Gregory, you forgot his episode also got banned and gave lots of people seizures definitely yeah that that's why another list of reasons why Porygon is weird pirate hunter fanny crazy deck sweet thank you Rubens Dutch Mario my father one time did a thousand and four hundred and yeah you sh if you think that's crazy watch Mike do three thousand thirty thousand and rise can you make a Greninja with the ability and the Gengar with the automatic knockout I, I like the Neuvern better because it says everybody is pretty much there. And uh, both of them getting rotated soon. Uh, we maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. And Jared Sadokas. You probably should be running a Megaphone. Yeah, I should. They're going to be rotated soon, but right now you should definitely have Megaphones. And Zoroxic. And Matthew Slemmers. I don't know, but I haven't ran to a super amazing build like this. Amazing or crazy? Because there's a difference. Or maybe, well, yeah, maybe it was both. But it's definitely more the crazy side. Thank you! And Steven Sutcliffe. That last misplace was far too I know, man. I know, but 
some I guess it's fair if I have to show some of my mistakes, so yeah. At least one that was that <laughs> steady. And KMC, this wreck this deck is really cool and unique. Oh, thank you. And Zach McLuhan, wow. What a deck I might try this out. It's crazy, right? Thank you. And Joshua Weber. Only you can make this deck work. It's it, it's a crazy deck build. Yes. And well, thanks, man. And Tony Carl, this deck hurtless hurts my head. Twenty-seven Pokemon. I pulled it off, sort of, didn't I? And Volcanic King. Someone had to conduct this orchestra. I hope Porygon Z gave Alakazam time to perform his spoon tapping solo. Good one. And DJ Brown. Samurai has great mustache. So yeah. And. Canvas self great, very fun deck. I say it's really good. Though if you set up a well timed opponent's hand will cripple this deck power. It happened a bunch of times. And yes, that is definitely true. And Long Win. Your Vietnamese too? Yeah. And yeah, yep. I, I know some of that name. Long. And Inky Cho. The first match was insane. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And Cookie Must Munstache. Day Doll, why don't you play expanded decks? Out tell you why in the video this week. Or what about right now? All the nightmares of decks past, all those top decks, they're, they're expanded and they stay the top decks because it doesn't change and that's just not kind of my thing. And you Healy, yep this deck is crazy but here's my number versus Seeker Me maybe? <laughs> I, I, I got that, I think I got that. 27 Pokemons. It was quite hard to squeeze it in. But I know all the competitive deck lists from four verse seekers. You could do it without it. And that was what I had to cut off when making this one. And stupid love this. Can you redo your deck with more stream like build? Stream like is gonna change real soon, but I don't know how you could squeeze any card in. What would you take out? Because this deck is crazy. Build because 27 Pokemon to make everything do that it's I, I don't think you can stream like it and that's what makes it crazy and Marcus Mybin your pause and the look on my face what did I look like oh god yes just don't oh that must be pretty bad mm. <laughs> okay and Alpha Voice Gamers can you anyone else imagine Vanguard when he says final turn I heard about that card game I need to look into that it's like one of the grandfather games kind of like ma magic gathering anyways gauge when do you upload and whenever you can or do you have a day it's usually monday wednesdays and fridays unless monday was fourth of july and i was knocked out cold and joke up in before the opponent has a garbador deck i haven't seen that deck around everybody loves their own shaman so they can't pull it off right and kid 82 feet do some 20. i did did I? Yeah, yeah. And Food and Cuchiona. Well, not in that video, but Food and Cuchiona, it's never enough. Yes. And the True Gaming King that misplayed and hurt watching. I have to put some of my own killer mistakes in there, right? Or maybe I should just edit them all out. Well, yeah, it's not very true. And Sergio Moda, the best deck. Thank you. Edel Lopez Beck, poison deck. When? Oh, you're asking for a poison deck. Is it time for a poison deck? Okay. We'll see, we'll see. And Raven Drake, this deck is insane. Oh yeah. Lowest Destroyer. What about Devolve? Fates Collide. I, I I did that one. Yeah, you just search it up in the playlist. It's not that one's pretty recent. And Professor H. I got an epic idea for an amazing budget deck. Um Romatis, Florgus, Break. Ah, uh, not anytime soon, but you can try that. I'm sure it's gonna. The Romatisse at least will annoy a lot of opponents. And Globus one one three three, Dark Under Gaming. Hi, I just started playing TCG. Can you tell me which one pack should I buy for, for start? Probably Face Collide. The Roaring Skies is popular for Shaman. Yeah, one of those two. It's more expensive too. Yeah. Odin Vives, hey dude, your videos helping me win local tournaments and great videos. I'm advice, advice. I'm new to the game, which is fun as well. Why else? Can you help me trade tons of pack? I can't do that personally for you, so I'm I'm sorry, but 
I hope you figure it out. And Lui Jun Yui, can you put Porygon Z and Mega Rayquaza together? I don't, I don't see such a big synergy, but um, yeah. And the, 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 you can do whatever you want, yeah. Skiller5550, talk about slow, miserable death. It was. It makes Nightmart. Oh man. Nightmart, Nightmart at least blows you up. This thing. Yeah. It's those tiny, tiny damage that can take too many turns. And Raphael33, what do you think about Polyrath Celebi for Retros? Polyrath should be by itself with Polytune. I don't know about that one, dude. And Benjamin, Nathan Jahu. I like your videos, your deck, but your opponents are dumber than the eye. Makes it hard to estimate the real power level of your deck. Some decks are just meant to be like, whatever crazy. So, it's also, although I can't say that for every deck, it's just me going through quick match. So this is actually what quick match looks like. So, no, it's not competitive. I understand that, but what can you do? This this is this is really Pokemon trading card game online. So because that it feels accurate towards that. I think it's okay. But I say that pretty much every video. And Tyler, kick lighter. Nice deck. Thank you. And the roaring dude perfect 14 Gyarados. Why is this unlisted? Sometimes they're supposed to come on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I just stick it ahead of time. Yeah. That's why until it gets unlisted, you can't search it until you look at the playlist. So if you check back, maybe sometimes you'll find new ones. Aha, okay. And Hero Smash 1550, all my crabs are hiding in the back. And it's like, oh, I, all my lobsters. Yeah, that's it. Sit Zero, the best pouring guns eat deck ever. Thanks a lot for making this your raw Metagross cleft key. Is that supposed to be on a different bit? Uh, okay. And Mo OH. Why did you not end your turn at 10-10? Or what am I missing? Spirit Link. You got it. And Aether, this deck is amazing. Also, Stoutland has a mustache. Ah, yes. And Gabriel Bird. Even though you sh haven't tried to shoot, try Trevenant Break and Mega Alakazam. I saw that. It worked pretty well. It's kind of like Trevenant and Gengar, except you set up and it worked. And never mind about that. And Con Lancho Art. Donald, I love your videos. Please say hi to me. Sure. Hi. And Alejandro Contreras. It's great deck. Awesome. And a deck with gear. Tina EX. Ah, one of those made to the finals. We'll see. We'll see. And Jake and Casada. Wow, this deck is awesome. I'm totally gonna build this and have some fun. Good luck, dude. Good luck. KP 911 Wow, this is an amazing way to use Pori. Awesome deck profile as always. Thank you, man. And Skylar Robinson. When he sent out the wrong Pokemon, I was like, oh no, he had it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna cry now. And Uvius Heartscar. Hi, I say great deck list. I like the old ones you made too, but I saw you are level zero and you do not get poems to that think in the game like you. Only get 40% win rate with some old deck lists at level 30. Levels don't do anything. It's just part of your collection level. The account that accounts at level zero because I don't focus too much about grinding at its Pokemon's borrowed account. So, levels don't quite mean. And the four decks change, metas change. I can't say, yeah, everything withstands the test of time. So, well, I do hope you get better luck and find it like the deck that's for you out there. And, Rustboro, why not an extra Alakazam? Space is really limited. We were approaching 30 Pokemon if I did that. And, Priyaro. Piero, Bucchini, Bucioni. I think I got that. And some people could call you silly for making this thing. I think you're a genius for those deck ideas. Free as great video. Well, thank you, man. And DK Quackmire, LOL. In the last game, I was like, don't watch you promote Alakazam with no energy. Worst mistake yet. Kung Fu Pancham, this deck is complete utter destruction. It wrecks everything in energy version of Trepton deck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Until, until, well, enters, enters Garbador and, and, but when it gets this way, it's pretty crazy. Indeed. And Michael C, any tips on how to get one Jolteon? Yes, I have to trade lots of packs. I had, I had to trade lots of packs and it cost me. And Frankie Red 33 a damn awesome dick doll. Keep it an awesome work. Thank you. And Cashmere 45, 25-0, he's crying now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. 
Okay. I think I can't kill all 120 sims, so I'm gonna hold it right here. But I appreciate all of them. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchers. See you back in my next kitchen for Typhlosion. Bye-bye. <laughs>